Let's see, so we've done most of our exploration. We've got a lot of pearls left to grab. We didn't get the Museum of Riga, much to my general chagrin. We don't have anything to move. We'll get stuff in a turn. Eh, whatever. We'll be fine. I'll make it work. Worst comes to worst, we just go blow up whomever has the Museum of Riga. And nice, friendly, blowing up and this. I don't know, man. Mostly, I think I'll, I'm just going to be focused on questing. Because that does seem like a good idea here. So we could get the uh, the Garth of the Ally. Why are you... Oh, right. I put all of you guys on that. Um, let's see. So what do we want to get? Oh, hey, 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 hey. Industrial Megapole. Maybe we can get that this time around. Nine. I'm gonna need a lot of money for this. There's nothing to boost stockpiles. How much is this gonna cost me? 500. Okay, Pearls of Riga. Uh, it's gonna cost me most of my money. Or I could spend on that and work on that. We'll work on the Pearls of Productivity. Uh, on the other one, we'll buy the Garth. This should work. So, the Industrial Megapole is a good uh, secondary goal. And I should have the resources for it. And hopefully I'm not competing with anyone on that one. Oh, I hope not. But yeah, uh, so you're gonna... This, this one's gonna work on the Pearls of produ Production. The reason why I want to do that is that potentially... What is this? Oh, Wealth Harvester, whatever. Visionary Leader. Tactical Training is nice. But, eh, whatever. I have ten armies. Must have been busy. I've just been exploring. Let's go for these pearls, keep exploring. Looks like we're kind of on this, like, island branchy thing. I think I'm in the bottom left corner of the map. That's my assumption, anyway. Okay, so we got the pearls, and it's search. Grass silk and pearls. Ooh. I think I can actually use that. Grass silk is used for trade. We'll hold on to that for, for the time being. Okay, and the other guy... I'm just gonna keep collecting pearls. It gives me something to do. And currently I don't need to be doing anything else. We'll explore south after this. I think. Yep, that seems like a good idea. And then we can collect that one. Okay, things are looking good. I desperately want that industrial mega... I want one of these wonders. Uh, if I can get it. Well, we'll do the Pearls of Productivity. Uh, even though I don't need it. Let's do everything else first, though. Like, we'll finish it, but we don't want it right now. We don't want it for a while, in fact. Uh, what? I can make multiple Garths? Whoa. Or the Garths of the Ally. No. Well, okay, so they're effectively just districts, just slightly more expensive. Interesting. I guess I can use that to my advantage. Okay, so I think we're done with this. Language square. Or are they? Let's get aquapulvistics or whatever it's called. And let's come over here. We want train with industry, this one. And that one then will be good. We've already got shipyards, though I don't know if I'm going to be using that. Extra assimilation slots. Central market. We're going to need that, too. Okay, so I guess to do city expansion, it costs, it's it's the Garths. Weird. So, yeah, instead of a, instead of city districts, we build Garths of the Ally. Weird. It was not bad. It just costs a ton of pearls. So I guess I need to keep up gathering them constantly. Okay, yeah, I can make that work. I mean, we've got... We've got crazy bonuses for getting them. Okay. Build two extractors, exploiting one or more of the following. Dye, emerald, gold, spice, wine. Gotcha. That should actually be really easy to do, and that gets us the enhanced ex extractor, which is super good. Okay. So things are... Things are looking... Despite the fact that I... Kind of got... I'm not going to say screwed there, but despite the fact that I got, uh, I, I'm 
unable to build wonders, apparently. We'll be fine. We'll just build a bunch of Garths and expand out. I should probably build another Settler, too. We'll do that later on. Okay, what are you guys up to? Not much up here. Then again, there's not much one way or another. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, so we're looking good. You'll be done. Alright, end turn. So I'm, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna just keep doing this. We've got a huge territory to ourselves, but I'm not sure how much I want it. The Broken Lords don't like me. I've never figured out why. How's the score doing? Uh, I'm kind of middle low end. I'm low end. Which sucks. Alright, uh, whatever. I tend to have a slow early game, especially the fact that I've wasted a substantial amount of time trying to build these wonders. That's not working great for me. Well, we could always just force buy a settler. Let's force buy a settler. Uh, get the expansion down quick. Though, ideally, we get up to Fervent first. Do you have the sewer? Sewer system, there it is. Alright, it'll be done in one, it'll be done in one. Maybe we can get the uh, Fervent approval level if we're lucky. I hope so, anyway. That would be nice. Oh, shoot, did I forget the proper empire planning? I have no idea. Anyway, fervent and happy. Dang. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. There's gotta be some way of boosting this. I could always just use that for... No, I did go with the happy one. Okay. So people are happy. There's, there's a way to reduce taxes, right? I honestly don't remember if there's any boosts I can do. Okay, fine. So we don't have anything else we can do. I know this is a bit of a waste, but let's do this. Boost that up. That should put them at ha happy? Wait. What is? Okay. So you're working on that. Yeah, unfortunately, we're very, very heavily set back by uh, Empire disapproval, and we need we need to we need to finish this quest before we can send out that next settler. Otherwise, this is going to be a bit of a waste. This is why getting that wine would be a good idea. All right, whatever. Pearls and dust. Okay, lots of minor factions. Nothing to worry about. Okay. You. Can I make a... Can't make anything. Dang. Yeah, so if we want to get any more uh, rare resource extractors, we're pretty much going to have to leave the area. Okay, well that's fine. Let's keep exploring up. Maybe there's something up here that I've, I've missed. Maybe there's like a whole... I mean, the map kind of wraps around here, so there might actually be like a whole connection point over this direction. Well, at least there's more temples. Maybe they'll... Bump up to Fervent after this one, because you're currently Fervent. I don't know. We'll see. Because worst, worst comes to worst, we wait for a central market three turns, build it, buy it, probably, and move from there. Oh, nope, we get the quest. Okay. Uh, so we get the Garth of the Alley. Fervent across the Empire. Produce nine influence in one of your cities for five turns. Gotcha. That'll give me 15 wines. Uh, wine. What's my influence? There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna shoot for, uh... I'm gonna shoot for quest pro progress in this game. Just because it seems like most of my other bonuses aren't going to be good. Um... Like, most of my game progress routes. Because we're not a financial powerhouse. Our science is gonna be okay. Uh, which is appreciated, but is not going to be amazing. Monetarily, we're making a lot early on. Like, this this faction has a really strong uh, early monetary start, which is appreciated. Uh, and there's nothing associated with pearls, victory-wise. Alright, uh, I think we're good. Let's... Let's just keep going. Yeah, this faction isn't as breakable as the Broken Lords or the, uh, the, the Shadow People. Uh, shoot, whose name I've now forgotten. I don't know. A what? Oh, that's fine. I wasn't going to be at war with anybody anyway. 
So let's just move. Uh, hi. Uh. Oh wait, we're in a fine, fine position. I thought I was under attack by something dangerous. Hurt a little bit, and we didn't actually kill him. We need to bring my guys back so I can uh, refit them with proper gear. They are kind of shitty. Okay. So let's grab the pearl. Yeah, so it looks like there's a bit of ocean over there. So probably we're probably at the looping point, but for the most part, I don't think anybody's going to be coming in. Uh, we get extractors, we get the Garth. I guess I could do the center for mineralogy. Okay. Yeah, we can do... the defensive tower. Which could be worth it. Might be worth switching my people over to food. For a while. Slow down production, because we're building things too fast. And we don't need to be. Yeah, let's boost my population up. At least that way I can just keep uh, pumping out Garths, assuming I have enough pearl production. Which I don't actually, but still. Okay, so I'm going to move him out. We're going to kill the Arpugia. With the one set as uh, reinforcements. Because I didn't want to lose them. And then... We've probably done enough exploration for a little while. Let's head back and we're going to retrofit them so they actually have like good equipment. And then we'll finally... Um, and we'll finally start taking out some of these neutral factions. Ah, uh, because they are... They're not annoying. Per they're annoying. They're they are downright nuisances. But that's okay. But yeah, since we have extreme... Um, since we have extreme expansion disapproval that we have to contend with constantly, um, we're pretty much going to have to uh, focus on getting pearls. That's one thing. You know what? I'm going uh, to actually head up there and grab these pearls. The other group can come back. Uh, uh, but I'll have the little flyer, the Skyfin, be my scout unit. It doesn't seem like it's a very good combat unit either. It's got a fair amount of health, which is nice. But my assumption is it's probably worthwhile for... Um... Oh, solitary. Wait. I want to take a look at this. Skyfin. Edit. Let's see. What a... Okay, solitary. Cannot be joined... By other units in an army. Oh. So yeah, it's totally my uh, my scout unit. Okay. Oh. Unlocks the army action. Aspirate. Prevents the army from being attacked by roving armies. Interesting. So yeah, I, I've effectively got this like perfect scouting unit that won't get attacked. I like that. What do you guys get? Different stuff, but none of the same. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's just roll back. We'll heal up and go from there. Yeah, this is going to be a rougher, rougher fight. Or not rougher fight, rougher run quest-wise or game-wise. But if, if I truly focus these uh, quests in, we might actually have a, a good time of it. I don't know yet. Anyway, we've got Central Market, Central M Mineralogy. Uh, so let's do Happiness and Science? Yeah, we can only do Happiness and Science. The other things probably aren't going to be very useful. But we do need the Science, so that'll help. Okay, so let's grab these pearls. Yeah, so the Skyfins are interesting. They're not, um... They're not for combat, and I probably never will. I might give them a Movement Enhancing item. Just so they can, uh, zip around faster. But that's it. Okay, can't do anything with these guys yet. Yeah, I'm waiting for the next, uh... I'm waiting for the next season so we can get the Chapel of Auriga along the way. Because extra industry terrain with river during the winter. Uh, that's going to be really good. Let's see, what is this? Accessories made of pearls. Ooh. Armors made of pearls. Yeah, so we, we should actually be able to get some interesting equipment here. Uh, unfortunately, we're kind of... In a hard place. Uh, for pearls, just because our Garths cost pearl. I'm I'm interested to see what uh, how this ex expansion properly like affects other other factions. Like I might actually go back and do a uh, I might actually go back and do a uh, 
And it's winter again. Hey, more pearls. It looks like they just keep adding up too, which is neat. Ah. Uh, okay, reduced health regen on Empire, that's fine. And ice wargs, but I should be fine. Okay, cool. Okay, the booster's ended, but that's fine, we get the quest. That one's already done. Okay, things are probably good. Let's take that settler out. Where were we gonna go? This one with gold, probably. Not a whole lot of boosters, though. Do we have anything else? Because spices would be a good idea if I could go get one of the, the zones with spices for growth. I kind of wish you could uh, select, like, a, a zone on the map and be like, you know, this place has these resources contained therein. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case, and that sucks a bit, but whatever. Oh, shoot. Or I could go down to Naklaren, uh, which has some amount of resources. It's got emeralds, which I don't really care about. And wine, but just look at all these anomalies clustered there. It's not worth it, though. The gold is probably going to be the most game-changing for me. Because there's more wine, there's dye, and wine. Yeah, you got a lot of wine around here. Dye deposit. Spices. So it's probably going to be here. Just because everywhere else doesn't quite have what I need. Like, okay, Bulma would probably be okay. Bulma? I don't know what this zone is called. But this one would probably be fine just because we've got sources. But this one's closer. And probably worth going to. Uh, so let's see, what, what can we, where can we place our city? I mean, honestly, probably right here. It would give us a river uh, for money and uh, industry during the winter. Yeah, we'll do that. I do have to worry about that army just a little bit. Yeah, the problem is we're neighbors with blue, and blue is very aggressive. So that might be a bit of a concern, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, uh, we're still researching. Okay, 20 emeralds, 3 pearls, good stuff. Let's keep searching. Is my Skyfin leveling up? I think it is. Two temple runes before the end of winter. Alright. Luckily, since we can fly, we can just go straight over the ocean. Uh, but I'm ex I'm I've pretty substantially exhausted winter. Okay, see, so let's drop these guys off in the city for a second. And let's go to Oh, this is second winter. Uh, so I can buy this, I just need more pearls. Damn. Alright, let's get back out there. We'll be fine. But yeah, if I can get enough pearls, we can, um... We can get it so we can use pearls to buy equipment. I'm not sure if I want to do that, though. I might actually just go with the... The equipment based on, um... We'll just wait for a second. Nope, and we're under attack again. Those ice wargs are aggressive. Which is a little concerning. I'd rather not lose the Seeker, though it might actually save me some money if I do. Oh, whatever. This works. There's no movement penalty. I think this is just an island out here, and it's not actually, like, connected to anything. Oh, that's fine. Dust pearls. I could go up there, but how long do we have left on winter? Only two. Yeah, so I'm, I want to find another temple if I can find one over there. Because there are not a whole lot of runes left. None that I can reach. Okay, so you. You're a settler, there's no pearls. So let's go here. Oh, I thought that was a, a waypoint for a second, like, you're going here. But that's not the case. Okay, so we drop that off. Okay, build a glass steel extractor. Oh, hey, that's cool. I actually forgot that we even had that quest. Well, first let's do the mill foundry. Uh, Empire mint. Because we're going to need both pretty badly. And we got the money, so let's just buy them. And let them do their thing. Okay. I kind of wish there was a way to, like, uh, put up a harvester so, like, workers would go out and collect 
pearls within your within your territory during the winter. That'd actually be like a really neat way of handling things. Oh well, it doesn't need, it doesn't need to be done. It'd just be nice. Glimpse of a new era. Okay, we're done with this one. So Oregon needs us. Oregon needs us. Okay, raise the altar to its level two, or keep a stock of hundred pearls for five turns. I think we're getting it up to level two. I gotta figure out which one of them is my altar, and that will reduce my pearl cost. Ooh. Okay, that's gonna be pretty easy. So we've lost. We we had lost. We had been lost and drifting for generations. Now that we are together, we will show our strength. We shall make her altar a beacon of wealth and wisdom. So, for all the gifts of Origa are precious things, and would not be offered if they were not of importance to the Chosen. It has been generations since the Alai have come together. When the Guardians were felled, we fled. The weapons of the Profaners were too terrible, and their war ghouls the worst. But, as all things evil, they too have passed. Through the damage, though the damage they did was horrific, now Origa seeks us out to heal and protect her. Some whisper that she is dying, that the longer dark seasons are a sign of her end. Of the end. But I say that the pearls and the offerings we give to her will help us both. To advance we must build, the city itself shall become an altar to her glory, and my people will become her loyal troops. Okay. So let's see, which one of these is my, this is my altar of Origa here, probably. Looks like it. Is it actually, like, built on top of that hill? Did they do that? I think they did. That's cool. Unfortunately... No, I don't want to... I don't want to cancel building that Garth. It's going to take forever to build. Let's speed that up a little. Okay. So you, what can you do? could build a Garth, but I kind of want to save my pearls for the time being. Canal system... It's going to be useless. I guess let's go for the glass steel extractor. Finish that quest off. Okay. Now let's keep going here. Do we get a rune over here? I would love to see one. There it is. Okay. So yeah, if we're lucky, we can complete that quest. It's unlikely. But it could happen. Okay, and let's escape. Luckily, everybody else moves slowly during the winter, so I can just kind of run around and do my, do my own thing and not have to worry about them. Okay, so we've got a ton of pearls. So we could get shapeshifters. No. Uh, the fishing thing would be nice, but we'd have to build that. We'd have to build that, too. I don't know. We'll think on this one. Otherwise, I'll save my pearls for more, um, for more expansions because we are going to need a bunch of garths along the way. Okay. Well, that's it. Let's take another turn. Yeah, I don't want to I don't want to take too much damage. Uh and lose that seeker. Oh, they really do visually change between that's a dang. All right, whatever. Uh and we failed that one. I was so close. Not like it really matters that much, but I I tried. I really did. Auto. Flight. I think I... Yeah, I finally lose that seeker. Ah, it's okay. I can build another one. Geomic Labs in one of your cities, and your scientific knowledge will grow. Okay, that's easy enough to do. And we'll go for the last temple over there. Ah, uh, let's see. So he's there. Yeah, let's just keep collecting pearls. Yeah, I need to... I need to build some more of those, like, little flyer guys. I need to research the ability to... Oh, wait, no, I can make them. Okay. 20 pearls, though. Oof. They're not cheap. Yeah, it's probably worth it, though. Let's build a Skyfin. And, actually, let's go Skyfin edit. Is there something that makes them move faster? Improve movement 2. That should give him a movement speed of... There we go. Perfect. It'll be a little expensive building a uh, th the Skyfins, but upping my Pearl collection would actually be like a really good idea. Alright, uh, let's keep going. That's a, that's a little bit of a slow start, because we can't expand much. Because it really, really hurts our uh, 
our happiness. Yeah, minus 50 from expansion disapproval. Ooh. Uh, cannot, cannot handle that very well. Okay, so that's influence. That's roads. Roads might not be a bad idea. Uh, extra food from rivers. Let's go with that first. And then science. And then influence. And then what the hell is this? Monk. Shifting nature, infantry slayer, shifting rage. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. And somebody's already built these things. Oh, that's fine. Uh, I think we're good. Let's select move. Oh, right. We have to be land ho to search. Okay. Loot as many treasures as you can. Show location. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're not going to make it, and it's just not worth it. Okay, so in that case, let's go back and start going for pearls, I think. Embarking takes a lot of movement. Just realized. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, yeah, this, is, this is going to be a slow, rough battle. We're, I'm, I'm pretty much entirely dependent on these quests here. We might, like, we might lose after all. We just might not have enough time. But I think once we, like, once we get our uh, production up really high, things should be easy. Yeah, I'm not gonna speed that along. Let's see. We're not gonna have my thing pretend to be a boat. Eh, I guess we will. Okay, you have one more movement. I'll probably just end up losing my my units, but that's not the not uh, it's not going to be terrible. Okay, so what can we buy? So that's during the winter. Uh, we need to destroy villages for that. Spend pearls to change form. Oh, during any season. So we could go into our our war uh, mode during that. Okay, that's kind of neat. But I, I think I'm going to go with uh, armors made. It, wait. Armor is made of pearls. Only armors? Not weapons? Interesting. Wonder why. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see. Anything else we're going to be doing here? No. Yeah, this game's more about, like, macro efficiency than anything else, which I, I always find fascinating. Uh, there's very little RNG to it. It's just a matter of, well, did you, did you take your turn right? Did you plan everything out? The answer is no. It's been long enough. Okay. Uh, so we leveled up, we get some money. Perfect. Okay, and we're getting attacked. You know, I want to go collect pearls, but we're just getting hammered by dudes. I don't want that. Uh, so you could do bribe reduction or movement on units. Okay, so we get some more there. I forget how good the music for this game was. It's like super relaxing. Okay, plenty of pearls, plenty of these things. Yeah, let's do armors. Okay, uh, don't click on diplomacy screen. Gonna lag everything. Okay, so seeker, edit. So I think my seeker is my, like, basic fighting unit. So shifting charge. Uh, reduced attack on target per movement point spent. Okay, uh, shifter nature. So, yeah, pretty much the same. Infantry Slayer, extra damage. Okay, sharp sense. So we could do... Okay, so these are legs. So that's four, six, four. Oh yeah, that is actually pretty damn good. For quite some time. It's going to make these guys a little expensive, but it will keep them from death. Which does seem rather important. Okay. And then we'll finish that later. So we can retrofit. Yes. Okay. And then hopefully nobody will attack. We're just going to garrison them for the time being. So that one doesn't get uh, totally owned. Okay. And then I'll just let the Skyfin run around grabbing pearls for me. Okay. End turn. Let's see. Yeah, because after this... We're pretty much going to focus on getting 
that temple up. But yeah, I need more pearls. Okay, everything goes back to normal. Public granary, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, now the region's secure. Build the glass steel extractor, we get the 37. Which is crossbow, which is useless for us, I think. Okay, and how long until we get an empire plan? Two turns. Okay, so we'll have the we'll have the skyfin done soon. Uh, terrain with industry, exploited force tile. No, 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 no. Oh, do we already we? There it is, canal locks. We need that pretty bad. Once we get that, this will speed up a lot. Okay, river tile. Eh, let's do food first. And then river tile. Can I let... Oh, it's because I don't have a sea or lake, so it's actually turned off. That's nice, actually. And we'll do geomic labs. I got a lot of money here. I don't feel like wasting too much of it on anything. But I think that'll be okay. Let's split that up a bit. Okay. Commit move. Yeah, so embarking takes a full turn. Did not realize that. Okay. And let's just garrison over. And... He's not great as an administrator, but seeing as these guys are going to be locked for the time being, we're going to assign him to... Let's assign him to Varys for the time being. That's a nice little uh, food boost based on his level. And we can use him as such. We should probably, uh, seeing as I'm saving money... Uh, we should probably use him for, um, oh, not, seeing as we're collecting so much money, we should actually pick up some administrators soon. We are going to need him after all. Okay. So we get that, we get pearls, and let's start beelining for that. No, stop that. I don't know if the embarking, disembarking is costing me that much, but it's still annoying enough that I don't want to deal with it. Uh, did I never get that gold extractor? We need to get that. And that's worth a small amount of money I'm going to use. Okay. I think we're good. End turn. Let's see. So I'll have a Skyfin in two turns. We'll have the Garths. We need more pearls. Oh, am I done? I'm done. Okay, so we get the augmented extractor. Which gets me just extra resources per turn. Which is really nice. Okay, so I have a ton of influence points. So let's do that. Building cost production. Reduction. Um, and buyout reduction. We'll do that now. Speed things along early. Okay. We'll be getting more pearls now. Which is always good. Uh, I guess it's time to start working on the... Start working on the... Uh, the altars. Again. Oh, right, you'll have the sky thing. Okay. Oh, jeez, it's 22 pearls. I don't... I like the idea of this faction, but I think it needs, like, a little bit of rebalancing. It is very, very cost-prohibitive to do almost anything. Uh, because, like, I like the pearls, but the problem is we need pearls to do, like, half of our faction actions, uh, which is rough. You know, and there's no, like... As far as I can tell, there's no way to generate them apart from manually getting them. Unless the pearls are more, like, worth more. No, it's only three and two and whatever. Okay. Well, while we're here... We might as well boost all of these things. Not the emeralds, though. Okay. New quest added. Cursed Bounty. Which of the two runes? Okay. So I have a quest... Oh, that's probably a shared quest that we're not doing. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, so you. You are. There are no pearls nearby. You're just going to head this direction. And we'll just collect pearls as we go. Uh, curse, yeah, Curse Bounty is a shared quest for everybody. But that's not really useful. But yeah, now we'll be able to get uh, two of the kite flyers after this one. So we can up our uh, pearl gathering substantially. Oh, yeah, right. Skyfins can't even, um, can't even be, I'm going to say tamed. They can't be, uh, they can't be garrisoned. There we go. So they are, they truly are just like kind of a roving unit group. Well, I'm okay with that. And I'm under siege. 
by who and why. And yeah, we need we need to boost our military. So they're sieging us. This is what happens when I put things off for too long. The Seeker is almost healed. We build another one. Uh, yeah, let's build another Seeker. Let's buy another Seeker. No, no, it's only going to take, a, like, a turn or two. It's not worth it. Okay. Uh, so you're there. Head for these pearls. And we're good. Yeah, the, the pillaging and everything else is a nuisance. That I don't like. At all. Oh, if we got the marketplace, we could probably start selling these resources. That'd be a good idea. Okay, built the geomic labs. Come over here. Okay, let's do a central market. You're gonna need it. And... I really wish there was a way of, like, increasing this. Like, size-wise. Just because it's kind of inconvenient. Move the granary up a little bit. They're happy. Okay, that's good. Public granary. I don't really need the pearls of whatever. Let's see. Canals, and I think we're good. Okay. So you'll be done with the canals, and then it will be the seekers. The other group will be healed soon. Um. I need an army. How's the how's the siege doing? Oh, the siege is. We've got plenty of time on that one. Okay, so... Let's keep collecting pearls. We're going to need that for more units. Eventually, I'll switch over to the other resources that are much more renewable. Uh, am I... Is it just me, or am I getting more pearls here? That's very possible. Okay, let's see how much I get from this one. Six. Okay, this is one pearl. How much do we get from it? One pearl. Okay, never mind. I guess just some of them were worth more. Hence my confusion. Uh, that's fine. Alright, let's take that turn, get that big industry bo boost. And then... Uh, I don't know what to do. Oh, we hit a, we hit a new... Um, we hit a new era, don't we? Alright, well that's useful. That's a good time. Research era. Oh, new research era. era Age of Enlightenment. Okay, Glory of the Empire. Uh, yeah, let's figure out... Man, 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 get out of my way! Okay. Failed bounty. Cursed bounty. Okay, so we want to do smelting station and reaping station. Those are the most important things. Follow that by money. And then food. Okay, so these are useful things. Uh, do we still have these? Yes. Let's use gold. Boost up our money production for a while. Uh, and the Empire is fervent. Okay, so we could actually consider uh, spreading out. We're going to need to anyway. We're probably going to want to move over to this zone next, just because it's got both uh, Palladian and Adamantian. But we'll see. Either way, I think this is a great stopping point. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of Endless Legend. And as always, thanks for watching.